What's up everyone? We are back for Wellness Wednesday, episode number five. Uh, so, uh, just a couple announcements. If you saw, we had Dr. Hawkins' birthday on Sunday. He turned the big 4-0. So if you haven't yet, wish him a happy birthday. And for those patients coming in this week, we just have, still have some snacks out there for you to come and grab. Or if you're driving by, just stop by and grab it. I think we have some pretzels left. Uh, but then we also have two more birthdays coming up. So my camera lady, uh, right here is Cheryl. She has a birthday on Saturday, and then our new front desk uh, gal, Wendy, has a birthday on Monday. So June is a month of birthdays. Um, not only that, it's a month of motivation to get you guys moving. So these Wellness Wednesdays, like we've been talking about, just kind of highlighting what we do at the office, giving you the tools or the keys to the castle so that you guys can do your things at home and benefit what we're doing or complement what we're doing in here. So our last two videos, we talked about the mobility that we need throughout the spine, throughout the extremities, so we're moving properly, and then our stability that we also need um, to make sure we're protecting those joints and utilizing the bigger muscle groups. So now today, um, we're putting all of that together, and now we're gonna go over seven key movements that you already do daily or you should be doing. Okay, some of them you may not think about, but things that we do daily, like bending down to put on clothes, carrying groceries inside the house, all these different things that we do daily and when we're doing them correctly with the proper stability that we talked about last week with the breathing mechanism, then we're able to utilize those big muscle groups and teach your brain that those movements are safe. Okay, that's my job in here is to give you those exercises so you can perform them at home and you don't have that fear avoidance which could be the problem why you're having the pain. We all know that movement is medicine and every single thing that we do in here, the common denominator is movement. We're trying to get you healthy and active. So as we jump into these seven functional movements that you should be doing daily or that you already do and keep on doing them if you are, um, we're just gonna kind of roll through them. So squatting is a big one, okay? That's one of the main things that you probably don't even think about, but think about going to the bathroom. You have to squat down to the toilet, you have to get back up off of that. Uh, so that's one thing, and if we're not stabilizing our back correctly, not moving through our hips, that's just deteriorating over time, could lead to future injury. Not saying that will happen, but it could happen if you're not under the right circumstances. Next one is hinging the hips. So if you have to bend down to pick something up, we're not going to bend down and round our back. We have to move through our hips to utilize those big glute muscles that control that movement and help uh, more powerful. So even deadlift in the gym, we're keeping that back nice and straight with the stability, moving through those hips to save our back. Okay, the other one is a lunge. This one isn't as common that we do daily, uh, but the classic just lunging forward again to get that good muscle work, the controlled balance is another thing with that to be able to do, um, to utilize, and you guys are gonna hear it a lot, but utilize these big glute muscles that should be stabilizing the pelvis and not the little ones where you see kind of a hip hike or turned out foot or any, anything, you name it. Okay, so those are our three heavy hitters for the lower extremity. Now we move on up, because we want to balance everything out. We don't want to walk around like a chicken with big arms, small legs, or, or vice versa. So now we got to get your upper body, upper body moving too. So our other three for these, push. Okay, so things that you got to do when pushing. Getting out of bed, you got to push yourself up. We got to have our shoulders stabilized correctly, so we're using those stabilizing muscles to help perform the movements and push it or as you're getting out of the car, you gotta push the door shut. Now it's not a lot of load, you don't need a lot of stability for it, but you can't just kind of slam it shut and just do bad movement patterns each time because that's just gonna chew, chew up the shoulder motion. And then we have pulling, okay? We gotta pull the door open, we gotta do all sorts of other pulls, or if you're doing just uh, bent over rows in the gym, we're getting those good shoulder stabilizing muscles. And then the last one, carrying those groceries inside the house. Okay, so we wanna have good, position in our body where our shoulders are down and back, not hunched all the way up here and crowding where we're going to get that tension in the upper back, but just carrying those because that provides good distraction and also muscle activation around the shoulder. Okay? And then our last one that we're going to talk about is just the rotation. We need a healthy amount of spinal rotation all the way throughout the spine, so we're just moving through those joints correctly. So think about it with golfers, this is a really big one, or baseball athletes, they gotta move and rotate through their hips, but they also gotta share motion all the way throughout the spine 
Because if they're moving in just one area too much, then that just kind of breaks down and uh, can uh, kind of lead to some some issues again down the line. Not saying that you will have that, but it could happen. So these are the seven movements that I want you to think about. And over the next probably six or seven weeks, I'm gonna be going over different lifts and variations that you can be doing at home uh, that complement in the office, or if you're not around here, you can still do them. We know that no one particular exercise is perfect for someone. And the way we cue, we can't cue every person the same because there's different body types. So I'm gonna go over some variations as well on how to set it up, maybe a couple different variations, whether uh, we're changing the load, we're moving the load in front or behind us. So it just gives you options to work best for what's going on with your body. Okay, so that's all we're gonna talk about here. Like I said, the next seven weeks, I'm gonna go over these movements in depth. So be on the lookout for that and get excited because we're gonna get you guys moving. Okay, with that, I am done for today. Thanks for coming in. Uh, again, if you know anyone that wants to get scheduled for uh, evaluation and same day treatment, go ahead and give us a call at 615-302-4747. All right, see you everyone. Have a good Wednesday.